When you open up a song in capo, it does some analysis, and you'll see it takes a few seconds to kind of do its magic behind the scenes. But what's it really doing? What's going on behind there, and what types of data is being stored when you do open a song? Let's have a look. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a new capo file, and I'm going to drag in that demo song. So I'll grab that capo demo song. A little something I'm working on here with some chords and synth solo and stuff. And when you do, it does some analysis. So now already I can see a bunch of different things that Capo is figuring out about my music. The first thing I see is that it's doing a spectrogram analysis. Right here, if I scroll up and down a little bit, you can see different pitch areas. But what we've got is it's clearly analyzing where there's a lot of pitch data and it's doing it across frequencies because you can see some separation between some higher frequency sounds up top and some lower frequency sounds at the bottom. So it's analyzing like where is that pitch information residing. I wouldn't use this as a verbatim, this is exactly what's happening here type of thing, but it's a guide. It's a good starting point for you to get an idea about learning the song. And that's what this is all about, isn't it? Capo is about learning a piece of music, giving you the tools to learn it fast. If you look at it in that way, you've got a great starting point here. You look at the bottom too, it's done some kind of chordal analysis. I can see chords when they're happening and I can kind of get the idea behind what chord is going where. If I scroll through, I'll see chord changes throughout the whole song. It's also doing beat analysis. So it's using the transients of the audio to really try to lock down where the beat is. If I zoom in, you'll see that, yeah, there's sort of downbeats here, downbeat here. So I guess I've got maybe a nice early kick drum there. That's what I'm guessing just by looking at it. But you can see that it's also doing that beat analysis. Now, if I go to beats, the beats submenu, I'll see it's guessed at the tempo. It did tempo analysis. It's guessed that the tempo is at 122. And it's guessing that my time signature is in there at 4-4. Again, I can tweak all of this stuff, and I'll talk about tweaking it later, but I, right now I'm just taking a look at all the stuff that Capo does before we even start. And it's also doing that transient analysis and all that beat analysis because it's going to use its own time and beat stretching algorithms to do its magic of changing the audio speed without altering the pitch or vice versa, changing the pitch of the audio without altering the speed. So if you think about it, it has to know where the beats are. It has to know what pitch information is because it's going to change those things. It's going to change one without altering the other. That's what it's going to do. So those are the things that Capo does right when it opens up a file. So even without you doing anything to it, when you open up a song, all of that stuff will happen automatically. And you then have the power to go in there and tweak it as you see fit. You can go in there and change the pitch around, change the speed. You can tell it that beats are happening a different way. It may analyze the beats, but not necessarily know where that ictus is, where the downbeat is. So you might have to nudge it over one or two. All those things are able to be done as soon as it's done with its analysis. So it does that analysis in a couple of seconds, and then you're ready to jump in there and go to town.